Welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the show where I like to explore just what the hell is going on inside that crazy mind of one man. His name is Mark Steele, and he's often described as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. And today we're going to tackle the important subject of Mark Steele's prophecies. You see, like all good conspiracy theorists, Mark likes to predict the future. But is he like Cassandra from Greek mythology, who was doomed to know the future and never be believed? Or maybe the exact opposite? That means uh, doomed not to know anything, and yet for some reason have a strangely devoted cult following. Well, in the next few minutes, we're going to find out the answer to that question. Let's begin with one of Mark Steele's zany prophecies. There'll be a population attack in you know, America unfolding by 2025. Your population's down to less than 100 million. It's not my, I'm not making this up. This is, this is intelligence. This video was first published around the 3rd of January, 2020. So Mark's doom and gloom prediction that the population of the USA would be reduced to under 100 million people. Well, that was five years into the future. And I'm sure Mark was thinking, well, in five years, anything could happen. Who would be watching an old Mark Steele video five years into the future in order to call him on his bullshit? Well, <laughs> you're looking at that person. That'll be me. Yes, so, um, 2025 is, is actually just over a year away. And uh, if the population of America is going to be reduced to under 100 million by then, well, that would mean 15 million people would be dying off every single month between now and then. And I don't think there's any sign of that happening. So, uh, well, I, this show about Mark Steele's prophecies, it's not going so well for Mark. Let, let's see if he comes up with some something a little bit more believable. I invented a CO2 reactor to break carbon dioxide. That same reactor has been hung on telegraph poles in America, and I can tell you now, it's to disassociate the molecular oxygen molecule. When you disassociate O2, the oxygen atoms attached to O2, and you get O3, and O3 will kill all biological life at 50 parts per million. I'm fairly sure that Mark Steele did not invent a machine that could break down carbon dioxide into its elemental components. Uh, but such a machine does exist already. We call it the tree. And uh, I'm fairly sure Mark was, was not a, a contributor to its development, but uh, I'd have to double check because we know he is very, very expert. But what if his claim that his ideas were perverted in some way, that there's an ozone generation device slung underneath every telegraph pole in the United States, ready to be switched on. And another way that we're going to be killed. If it, if it wasn't enough with the, the deadly light lampposts, the, the 450 nanometer light, the 5G kill grid, and now the evil ozone generators. Well, will these dangers never cease? Luckily, we have somebody like Mark to tell us about it. And I'm not here for it. I have a debate with people. I'm here. To, I'm a messenger. We orchestrated this uh, a, a political movement called Save Us Now. The symbology, the sun rising, waking humanity. This is God's work. You may have believed that Save Us Now, the political organization formed by Mark Steele, was nothing but a grift an organization for ill-educated, angry, balding men to show off just how ignorant they are about topics such as electromagnetism and science in general. But no, Save Us Now is actually on a mission from God. All my inventions, right, it's universal forces, that's an energy field, this is God. The events in my life, all the things that happen to me in my life happen to me for a reason. It's too serendipitous. Mark believes that he has been chosen by fate, maybe even chosen by God, to free the world from 5G kill grid lampposts and 450 nanometer blue light. Could he be the Messiah? See, I understand about quantum mechanics 
uh, fractals. I understand how the whole thing's a matrix. MIT, for instance, would know there's no mass. There's no mass. It's, it's energy. So the science fitted with me, but it also fitted with the grand geometrician, God. And if you I know that you like to watch this show because of the, the breakneck pace of scientific revelation. Well, didn't Mark just drop a, a, a humdinger on us there? Mass does not exist, and the source of this revelation is simultaneously MIT and God. Well, who can argue with sources like that? I got a prophet contact me and she was starting to tell us some of the things in the Bible. I didn't have a Bible, so I had to go and get one. And I was reading it, and it, it all started to fit. Like the prophetess managed to convince Mark that he had been ordained as God's own messenger to reveal the truth about the deadly 5G kill grid lampposts. Can you imagine how surprised Mark must have been to learn that his coming was predicted by the Bible. It is absolutely prophetic. And she told me, it's God's light. My second name is Steel. My first name's Mark. Mark Steel. It's the Mark in the covenant, the overstep the Mark. The phrase overstep the Mark does not come from the Bible. It's an English sporting phrase from maybe the 18th or 19th century. It refers to the fact that pitches often have lines or markings on them. It's nothing to do with religion. Uh, Mark of the Covenant also is not a phrase from the Bible, although I suppose there was a character called Mark in the New Testament, uh, and steel as well. That's not really a, a material that the Bible mentions. The Bible was written in the Bronze Age, and back then there were bronze and maybe some early precursors of steel, but steel as we know it is a fairly modern invention. Uh, so this prophetess just seems to have been telling Mark precisely what he wanted to hear, which is that he's been chosen for something. You heard the saying, the Vova step, the Mark. I am the mark and the covenant steals means sword. It's a double-edged sword. It's light and truth. The phrase double-edged sword or two-edged sword does actually appear in the Bible. It's in the book of Hebrews. But it doesn't mean what Mark Steele seems to think it means. It usually refers to a, a thing that could be used for both good or bad and not truth and light, or whatever the random thing Mark seems to be word associating right now. Mark seems to be playing a game of just say random English language aphorisms and hope that nobody notices. Sarah Westall, the, the host of this show, well, she certainly doesn't notice because like all the people who interview Mark, she's an idiot. She's not gonna check up on Mark. So he is free to spout whatever kind of nonsense he likes. And in this case, I, I think she's completely bought into the idea that Mark Steele has been anointed by a prophet and maybe a prophet himself. See, the, the whole prophecy fits. This is the end of times. We've got God's armor, God's armor, shield, sword, helmet. Do you know I invented a helmet? If the end times were truly upon us, I don't think one of Mark Steele's helmets would be that much use. Mark apparently did help design a helmet for his brother's helmet company. Uh, Graham Steele had this business called Revu. I think it's gone out of business now, but they used to sell motorcycle helmets. They weren't very popular because they were heavy and didn't have a particularly good safety record, uh, but they did have a gimmick, which was a rear view mirror, a sort of periscope arrangement that would allow you to see what was happening immediately behind you as you were motorcycling. Unfortunately, motorcyclists didn't like them. They didn't sell very well. And uh, well, I don't know what use they would be in the, the, the tribulations of the end times. Maybe uh, if you had to, to run away from the angel of death or, or some other biblical monstrosity, uh, time will tell. Son, it's really important. It dispels the darkness because what we've been in is the darkness for thousands of years 
We have been in this darkness. The light's coming. The truth is the other part of the sword. Truth and light is what brings us to the ascension. I mean, it's, if you think 5G is unbelievable, that's unbelievable. Well, it is to me. Completely unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Hasn't today been an exciting and wild ride into the Fruit Loops world of Mark Steele? We began with a prophecy that the entire population of the United States will be reduced from approximately 330 million people to under 100 million people by 2025. That's just over a year from now. Well, if that actually happens, I'm sure Mark will proudly say that his prophecy was vindicated in the unlikely event that Mark Steele was wrong. Well, maybe that's just more proof that he's a complete lying idiot. I'm sure time will tell. But what about Mark Steele's invention? The fabulous machine that could remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It's now being used to create deadly ozone gas. Mmm, that smell of laser printer everywhere. And what of the mysterious prophetess who told Mark Steele of his destiny, that he was going to lead a political movement called Save Us Now, that would tell us all how to fight the effects of the deadly lamppost kill grid. I'm sure Mark didn't make that up, and it really did happen just as he told us. <laughs> well, for more fabulous insights into the world of Mark Steele, please join me in approximately one week time, and I, and I, will, <laughs> I will have some more wackiness to share with you. You can bet on it.